When the Americans started bombing, we moved our patients into the countryside. We did our operations underground in bunkers built during the French war. We had to carry on even in the midst of bombing strikes and had orders not to abandon our patients. They were not to die alone. September 1969, Hanoi. A grief-stricken nation mourns the death of its leader, Uncle Ho. Although he has not lived long enough to save a victory for the cause he has led for almost 40 years. Ho Chi Minh has seen the first withdrawals of US troops. 25,000 men ordered home in August by new US President Richard Nixon. In his will, Ho Chi Minh issues one last rallying cry. The war of resistance may drag on. Our people may have to face new sacrifices of life and property. Whatever happens, we must remain firm in our resolve to fight the US aggressors until total victory. Hanoi, 1972. Although secret negotiations are taking place in Paris between the United States and North Vietnam, war still rages. <laughs> Cambodia and Laos are now heavily embroiled in the conflict. The bombing of the North has become more and more ferocious. December 1972. President Nixon orders more mining of Vietnamese harbors and the Christmas bombing campaign, a renewal of Operation Linebacker using B-52 bombers. Both sides come to accept that the price they are paying to prolong the war is too much to bear. The Paris negotiations soon resume and the bombing ends. Within weeks, there is an agreement and by the end of March 1973, the last US troops leave Vietnam. There is a ceasefire in Laos, and US bombing of Cambodia comes to an end in August. But Vietnam is still not at peace. 
South Vietnam fights on to prevent a communist takeover by the North. But the end is not long in coming. The outskirts of Saigon, April 30th, 1975. The city falls to the army of North Vietnam. 40 years of conflict are over. But there will be more suffering and hardship. A million people will leave Vietnam to escape the regime. There will be social upheaval and compulsory re-education programs in the South. There will be harsh reprisals against the Hmong people in Laos and Cambodia will live through five years of genocide under Pol Pot. Only years later will peace return to Indochina. The Guyen Van Duyn in modern day Saigon. During the war with the French, during the war with America, there are always some who supported the invader. Many left, but many more stayed. We forgive them. We have hardship here. We have a difficult life, but this is our land. The Americans occupied this country, destroyed it, committed horrors here. But we try to shake hands today. We try to forgive America for what they did so that we can rebuild our country peace.